to the last minute and going to come see me a day before the quiz and day of the quiz isn't going to help you. Because I'm going to go ahead and tell you, when we do this chemical reaction quiz, and you come to me the day before the day of the quiz, and you go, yeah, I just don't know my nomenclature. I'm going to look and say, you're up a creek without a paddle. I've never heard that Because what have I said from the get-go with this chemical reaction quiz? It's rough. If you can't do nomenclature, can you do chemical reaction? Probably not. No. If you're sitting and you don't know it, you're the person. I put the ball in your court. I have first lunch, lunch, and I have a second lunch seminar. They do not care. They would love for you to come in here. The ball is in your court. If you're struggling, you need to come see me. You wait before the day, day before the day of the quiz, and you come in to me, and you look and say, you have no idea what's going on. You can't do nomenclature. I'm going to look at you and say, you're hurting. And when your parents come to me, and they ask me, what can we do? I'll say, build a time machine, go back in time, and tell them to come to me sooner. This is not something you can learn in 30 minutes. If you can learn it in 30 minutes, I'd be done with it in 30 minutes. Challenge accepted. What? Challenge accepted. Challenge accepted. <clears throat> well, you spent more time learning the nomenclature part of it than you have the actual chemical thing part of it. So I feel like by that, you've already spent more than 30 minutes. It's been, or... it's been more than 30 minutes. Sorry, John. So. That ship has Oh, we are finally in the real deal chemistry. So let's oh, keep golly. rolling on. Oh, no. So we've been looking at chemical reactions. Oh, chemical reaction we're looking at right now, synthesis reaction. Of elements. And oxygen. Now, yesterday, we started in on this, and I'll work an example with you, did a demonstration of what that stuff would look like. So we formed magnesium oxide, and we did this for magnesium and oxygen. So things like this will keep going. Now, I can flip the questions around. I don't always have to give you the reactants. Like a perfect example, if I look at you and I said a synthesis reaction... to form iron 2 oxide. So the key to this is it's a synthesis reaction, but you're forming iron 2 oxide. The fact that I said form is iron 2 oxide or Product. Reactants or the products? It's the product. Yeah, yeah. Good job. So, you know that something and something combine to make iron to oxide. Here's the question What's the reactants? Don't look at me like that. Okay, I'll turn around and keep going. Like <laughs> Let me look at it again. What's iron? F-E. Oh, why not I put I? So. <laughs> <laughs> no wonder you were shaking your head like that. I was like, yep, ah, that's what I What and what makes a metal oxide? A metal and oxygen make a metal oxide. So I need a metal and what? Oxygen. Oxygen. O2. Nice. O2. Sneaky little booger. Don't you love it? That little trick I taught y'all like week three. It says always in the back pocket. It's like it's always coming out now. Yeah. I hate it. Is that better? Die, Tommy. Just be better. Twenty-two. <laughs> Alright, so we have iron plus ah. oxygen go to iron 2 oxide. Here's the thing though, I need a chemical formula for iron 2 oxide. This is where the nomenclature skills come in. If you're struggling at this, this is where you need to be spending some time with me during lunch so we can get you caught up. So we got iron, 
A two plus charge. That Roman numeral tells you the charge on the iron. It does not tell you how many irons are there. Oxide comes from oxygen. It's in the 16th column, so I know it forms a, two, a negative two charge. Two negatives. We take the charges and we cross them. Two comes down for the iron, that two comes down for the oxygen. Whenever I do that, I get Fe2O2, but then I can factor a two out. <laughs> Since we can factor two out, that's what that says. It's Feo. Am I done? No. What's the matter here? We got two oxygens on that side. You got to make it even with that. And I can't read, but I'm pretty sure I'm bound over there. Yeah. Except you had contacts. No, I mean I, I can see it. Okay. On the reactant side, I have one iron and two oxygens. On the product side, I have one iron and one oxygen. This isn't balanced. The whole idea is coming in here is there's a reason we got to balance this thing is law of conservation of mass. I'm going to stress that to you here in like two seconds. So what are we going to do to balance? Put two in front of the yeah. So put it. No, 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 don't do it. Not a, not a super so substitute. Put a, you haven't got us yeah. Yeah. Put a big two? Yeah. yeah. Oh, I said in front of the FEO. That's not in front of the FEO. So. Now have I change the number of iron. I change the number of oxygen. Let's cancel out. Two times one is two. There's two iron. Two times one is two. That's two oxygen. And now, we have now, now you got to come back and balance the iron. Put two. So why can't I just put two there? Because then that changes, that changes the whole thing. It's all, it, it's all change. boogie woogie. Boogie boogie. So put two there. I have two iron. There is properly balanced synthesis reaction for production of iron two oxide. If we always use the stock system, I could probably do this. But when we get into the polyatomics, <coughs> I have issues. Oh, it's going to be so fun. It's going to be the funnest, actually. What? Okay, there's not. You see the two in front? The two in front of oh, the FEO. The charge is the now or what? The two um, is canceled. Right? So yeah. It's two. Yeah, it's yeah. simplified. Makes sense. You're talking about the charges? Oh, I'm so lost. When you crossed them, they both had a Are two. Are you talking about the charges up on here? No, I'm talking about the two. Why don't we ever put okay, the two in front of the two are. Okay. We don't need that one right now. You will. And you still need one right now. Because there's two of those where it's about to happen. What? Okay, it makes it a different call. It makes it a different call. So there's two of those, and it says, look, this is iron two on side. Okay. Yeah. Before we do so one, two, I want to stress two, something to you. Why do you balance? Why are we balancing? It's a balancing system. I don't know exactly, but you told us we had to. Law of conservation of mass and energy. Law. And <laughs> all things holy. <laughs> what? Law of conservation of turtles. Save the sea turtles. Law of conservation of mass. Law of conservation of mass states. I'm upset. Was that one of the Newton quotes? The mass of a product is equal to the mass. Of the reactants. Does red only mean like half important? No, it's all important. Anything right up here is important. Just purple means like, hey, you best know it's super duper important. So red is like in between though, because you're just missing the blue at this point. Absolutely. Yeah, gotcha. And then black is just all over. This right here is the reason we have to balance. Not only do we have to balance because of this. I told you at the beginning of this class. Everything builds on top of itself. Oh. We finally made it to the point where it's all going to come and connect together. Because you have to be able to do nomenclature properly so that you can get chemical formulas right. And you have to be able to do chemical reactions to get those chemical equations right. So that you can have the proper chemical formulas, but not only that, you have to be able to balance the chemical formula properties so that you can have the mole ratio proper whenever you're doing your stoichiometry calculations. 
Next thing you will learn after chemical reactions is stoichiometry. I believe I just have to start. <laughs> <laughs> Do you smell it all builds on top of itself. Why are you just stressing this so much, Mr. Hall? Why do you keep throwing it out? Because if you don't get this now, you're going to be extra behind. If I can't get you to understand you need to come see me for nomenclature help, if you got no idea what's going on with nomenclature right now, then I cannot help you when we get to stoichiometry and you got no idea what's going on with chemical reactions because you don't know your nomenclature. If you can't do nomenclature, you can't do chemical reactions. Can't do chemical reactions, we cannot do the stoichiometry because mole ratios will not be correct. I do not mean to just be like full of negativity today. I'm just trying to get you to wake up because I need you to get with it. I need you to know. So, let's do another one of these synthesis reactions. I want you to try this one. Synthesis reaction will produce Oh, I about just lost my can of Red Bull. I'll tell you what. I want to just sit over there. Is that gone? Yeah, boy. Iron three oxide. I think I can do this. I think I can do this. You said the number needs a chart and more. On a scale of one to ten, how proud are you gonna be with me if I can do this? A ten. <gasps> I'm getting a ten. Let's go. I about just did not all of them. Oxide. In that case, 
Two. I did two. I think it's over there. Yeah. Yeah. In that case, I know that I need a bed on oxygen. Like ducks. Like Fe plus O2 goes to iron three oxide. So we got to get the chemical formula for iron three oxide. So iron three plus oxygen two negative. And then we're going to cross them. So it's Fe2O3. I'd be fun doing these all day. I am not. We all got stuck on what you're about to do. <laughs> So now we're going to find out how many of them I want to see what they're doing. I want to see what they're doing. They're bumping. They're probably playing, playing like Just Dance or something. <laughs> or they're singing Just Dance. Or is it Ghost and Dance? Have you ever played the thing where you can sing to? Okay. The iron, iron tree oxide is Fe2O3. So now we got to balance it out. That's probably where everybody's getting stuck. It's okay. I'm going to show you a little trick. i got another little trick whenever we get to. i got another little trick when we get to combustion reactions. Because combustion reactions, the hard part with them is balancing. So on the reactant side, I have one iron and two oxygen. On the product side, I have two irons and three oxygen. So if you follow through the rules, which I'm going to do, even though I know I'm going to have to go back and fix something. I'm going to start with iron. So I got one on the left side, two on the right side. That means if I put me a big two right there, all right, big two, gives me two iron on the reactant side. Did you laugh at big two? Yes. <laughs> big two. Oh, what's so funny about the hand button? Sometimes you got to take a big two. <laughs> Listen. We're supposed to be mature in you. There's some big ones, too, by the way. We make an educated joke. Just, just ask me, Levi. What do you make in the poop jokes? Oh. 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 oh! The thing that makes him laugh the most is The thing that makes just me laugh the most is a child. Okay, thanks. Now you flip. The irons are balanced, but the oxygens are not. Because in this case, the oxygens are not even. So it's not like one's four and one's two, so I can just evenly divide out. There's a little trick I like to use. Whenever I get to a moment like this, I take the number from the reactant side. Take the number from the I group. stick up here. And then I take the number from the product side and I stick over here. Whenever I do that, it changes the number of irons and my oxygen on the product side to where I have two times two is four irons. 2 times 3 is 6, 6 oxygens. Then I come over here on the reactant side. I have a 3 here now, so that changes that 2. That 3 times 2 is 6, and there's 6 oxygens. Now the oxygens are balanced. I just prefer trial. What? Since they're all even, do you simplify? Where do you get 6? Actually, no. No, because we have to rebound. Yeah. Okay, you see the 2 in front of the iron? Yeah. So you would apply the two well, irons plus well, oh, my two and the same to a three on the bottom. So you end up with an iron four and oxygen six. So you have to balance on the other side. You just kind of put a three in front of the O2 or the. Yeah, I don't know. You see how it's fixed? It's a very complicated way of saying. Okay. So the. If you look, the irons are no longer balanced. So now we've got to balance out the irons. So since we've got to balance out the iron, I'm going to take this two off. Because look, we've got four on the right side, so if I just stick a four there, now I'm balanced. And you actually can't blame us. Okay. What do you mean? Like if we had a four over there, we wouldn't have to put four at least two or three. So we would only put a number up there. Well, I don't understand arrows. Like where we put the two up there. But I get that. Yeah, that's intentionally there to balance. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> this is a totally separate model. 
This, this means nothing without one of these. This means nothing without one of these. Alright, that's midnight. So those are synthesis reactions with oxygen. Now, you also could on the flip side have reactions with oxygen like the one we did before. So, just for good practice for you, let's give you something that doesn't have a match with it. Is this going to be hard? This is a synthesis reaction. Hydrogen and oxygen and heat. I'll give you a moment. Triangle. triangle just tells you enthalpy. That's me adding continuous energy. Does it change how we work it out? No, it changes nothing at all. It's just for you to know, like if you were going to do this chemical reaction back in the lab, you would take some hydrogen gas, some oxygen gas, and you would put some heat in, and then bada boom, bada bing, you'd have a nice little reaction. H2 plus O2 Said nobody ever. Isn't that that's a that's hydrogen peroxide? I hydrogen peroxide is H2. I love it. I have not had eyes glued on me in this class like this in months. Okay, so where are my parts on your eyes? We gotta work backwards, but forwards. I feel like I'm just staring. Why is it not just H2? Wait. Is it enough to take your H2. What's H2? Because it's a diatom. Hydrogen is a diatom. Yeah, it's one of the seven. You're right, I'm stupid. You know that little seven it makes? I went through that one with you. This is one of the reactions you have to remember. Why is water? Water. Oh, because it can't just one two. I watched the marsh. I know how that works. We make it. How's the H two O? How's the H two O? You have to balance. I'll give you a moment. What's that little triangle? Is that just a triangle? How many? Oh, I'm continually adding heat. There's a bunch of little sides you're going to pick up through. Mr. Hall, can you explain that? Why are all these numbers there? I don't get it. Big numbers or little numbers? Just every single one. I am blocked. Okay, so Fe doesn't have a little number because it's iron. It's just by itself. O, oxygen has a 2. A little 2 because it's a off. Fe2O3. And the iron has two and the oxygen has three here because of iron three oxide. So whenever you take it and you have iron three positive charge and oxygen with two negative charge, remember we cross those to get that chemical formula of Fe2O3. Now what's this whole hydrogen? That's the trick. So instead of sitting here trying to do trial and error, what's the easiest thing to do? Bring this number up here in front and this number down here over in front. It will multiply to give you the same number of oxygen. It's working its way down. No, no, no. So then that makes sense. Now what about the hemicombine? Wait, no, so, two times two is four. Uh, you know, have you ever done a uh, system uh, you, know, you know, when you multiply them so they're apple and then you can cancel them out, and then you can cancel them out. So he has a balance. Yeah, that was distributed. All right, so on the reactant side, I have two hydrogens, two oxygens. But on the product side, I have two hydrogens and one oxygen. In that case, I need to balance out the oxygen. So, can I just stick two here? No. No, no why? There's a big change to it. If there's any point at all, drink this, you're hydrating. Del Stewart's happy. Try and drink that, and you'll puke your guts out. Del wants you to drink two. Now, more. that's hydrogen peroxide. That's hydrogen yeah. peroxide. If you drink enough of it, you'll. How do you get. 
Okay. When you're combining H2 and O2, how do you get H2O and not H2O2? How does that work? Because I know that I, it's just a reaction that I know. So we'll but never. This is one of those you have to okay. memorize. How That's you, why I brought it out for the second time. How do you get H2O2? It's a different synthesis process. We ain't gonna get that. Okay. But is, is we it, will yeah. like throughout this we'll hit peroxides, but we're not gonna hit like the synthesis of the peroxide. Okay, and I was just wondering because I, I mean, if when you look at this, the first thing you want to do is okay, H two O two. H two O two just happen together. Yeah, but yeah. it's not actually what happens. It's not what happens. So. <laughs> Now, I gotta put a two up here, as you guys can tell me, bless you. So now I change the number of hydrogens and of the oxygen. I'm gonna take a short moment and just have just a short little message here for you. Ladies and gents, whenever you put a big number up right here in front of these molecules and these compounds, please make sure you are balancing everything properly. I don't know how many kids I've seen put a two there and would have left that two for hydrogen and put a two there for oxygen and said they are done, but they are not because now you no longer have yeah, two hydrogens on the product side. We got four of them. Which means we gotta pop back over here to the reactant side, stick a two right there in front of the hydrogen, and get us a four, and now we have a properly balanced equation. Oh, I like that. Well, I won't put this twice now. I would like to go back. We made two, two checks. On the reactor side. Plus sign. I'm picking it up. Separate. They're separate there. So it's one on the ground. I'm picking them up. Turn around. This is a reactor. But it's actually a screw. Let's do it. Okay. We are going to look at a different type. We're going to look at decomposition. I'm not going to do Don't call me the fact that you're So let's say, let's look now at synthesis reaction. Don't have the yarmulke. Beard Shapiro. I don't have the yarmulke. You look more juicy. Uh, elements. <laughs> <laughs> With Jesus. sulfur. So in this case, I don't like sulfur. Let's say we have a synthesis reaction with elements of sulfur. They make sulfides. They make sulfides. Can I stress something to you? Sulfides, not ites or eights. There's no polyatomics here right now. Polyatomics will come back, don't worry. Oh, you I did not waste not your worried. time. I wasn't worried about it. I was not worried about it. I miss them already. No, I'm one of them to leave. <laughs> I, I, actually, I think I left my polyatomic ion list in here the other day. It's okay, John. John. You should have a memorized right? I've got some of them, but not all. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, I'll just one So they make sulfides. So let's say, for example, my head hurts. Good. Let's take <laughs> calcium Good. and sulfur uh, in a synthesis reaction. I wrote a sheet in there. Can we work this one out if you need to do it? Absolutely. Work it out, Andrew. I mean, after you. After uh, that's it. I want the synthesis reaction of calcium and sulfur. Calcium sulfide. Gas. Gas. Well, I don't know. Well, well, give me the chemical. Oh, that's it. That's it. Look what she did. Even if I could, I wouldn't. Because my pride is too big. My ego too large. And Mr. Oh, Mr. 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 Calcium sulfide. What's the charge on calcium? 
Two plus, because it's in the second column. Charge on sulfide. Two negative, because sulfur is in the 16th column. Now we cross them. Two, two. They cancel, and then... So I get Ca2S2, so I can factor out a 2, or you can look at, like Andrew was saying, 2 to 2. They cancel out, so it's just Ca2S. Whenever we're giving some kind of water problem. I'm in big trouble. Do we have to also include the bottom? Will these always go together like that? I will always want this. I very rarely will ever ask you to do this. This, if I do, this is word. This is formula. I will be specific on which one I'm asking you for. Why didn't we do the balance? Let's do the balance. So on the left side. Let's look at calcium. I have one calcium on the reactant side and one sulfur on the reactant side. Let's go to the product side. How many calcium? One. How many sulfurs? One. Everything's one to one. It's balanced. So what do you say this side is? Reactant. And this is product? Yes. Arrow stands for yields. So pretty much the sulfide uh, synthesis reaction with elements with sulfur, you're going to see that those are going to act, it's, it's pretty much going to act like oxygen. I mean, they're in the same um, area. They're in the same boat. They're in the same area, in the same column, so it's going to form the same thing pretty much. Pretty much. That's how they're going to roll and how they're going to flow. Okay? All right. So some of these reactions, you just got to know. Some of them you do just got to know. That's unfortunate. Is I-dot a part of the 7-dot Those are not. Yes. I can't find my list. Oh, the dot com? Oh, no. It's nitrogen, oxygen, fluorine, fluorine, If I remember nothing else, that is what I remember. Good. Why are all those in red on that periodic table? You told us, but I don't remember. Because they're just red. They're cool. Because they're angry, Andrew. Mm, I'm angry at you. I'm gonna do something I probably shouldn't do, I'll probably regret it. I'm gonna stop there. Hey, listen to me. I know tomorrow's three hour early release. Guess what? I'm rolling on. So let's be here. Uh, problem. I'm not gonna be the same. Well, how's it? Mr. Hall, you know I'd love to be here at all, but you are not You're okay. Everybody's grabbing their things. Everybody's standing up. Everybody's going to line up at that door. It drives me insane. They want to get out of this stupid class. That's the big job. I had to steal papers. This class sucks. It's on the top of the shoe, too. Like, how does that happen? Oh, I never signed back in. Right here. Like, <laughs> like, it was a big old blob. Got home and I was like, damn. The rest of this week and next week, we're really going to be diving in deep with these chemical reactions. Today, the goal is to introduce you to the five. What's our next test? Friday. Please stop. Friday. Oh God. Sorry, no, it's Friday. Oh God. Is that eight? No. Is that next Friday? Oh, hey, you saw this. Or what do we do the week after? Saw. 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 Saw.
still on. And we have some more like in out to this Friday too, I believe. <laughs> so I'm actually going to quiz you on the 15th because that's the day before uh, Easter break and no, spring break. And I don't want to leave you with a week of information, go on break, come back. Yeah, that'd just be bad. Me and Tyler won't be here on the next Friday or next Monday. I'm just saying. You look so, like your next project. There's one of these. There's Talk about these chemical reactions. There's one of these. You may have looked at and put it in your mind that it was wrong because it has it down wrong. But when you go over, make sure you actually look at it and don't just say, oh, that's wrong. Because I want to make sure you weren't like, oh, yeah, that one was wrong. That one was wrong. That one was wrong. Hey. Mr. Hall. Mr. Hall. Okay. Oh. Oh, yeah, I'm just going you. Is this a pal? <laughs> <laughs> no. So, you know, chemical reactions. So, part of chemical reactions will do something different than I've done in years past. Today, I actually want to introduce you into the whole balancing out. And the reason we got to deal with the balancing out is because I'm getting ready to start introducing you into the five basic types. And then, whenever we're doing the five basic types, we start working through these chemical reactions. We're going to do examples, and we have to be able to balance them. So it'll make a lot more sense if you get to see them as we're going through. So, let's talk. Steps to balance. So whenever we're talking these steps to balance, the first thing I want to stress to you Never change a small letter subscript numbers in the chemical formulas. Can't stress that enough. Oh. If you have, oh. for example, yeah. if I gave you H2O and you needed two oxygens, this is water. What? If we put a two there, that's no longer water. Yeah, you got two oxygens, but that's hydrogen peroxide. And then you throw up. You cannot. Yes, you will. You puke your guts out. Yeah. So you cannot put the two there. If you're going to put a two to mount it, you have to put a two in the front. We can only change the numbers in the front. This is why this is important. You've got to get this now. That number is so important with balancing because the next thing after chemical reaction is stoichiometry. Stoichiometry is background and based off of mole ratios. So you have to know your mole ratio. You have to be able to establish mole ratios properly. In order to do that, you have to be able to understand the chemical reactions. In order to do that, you have to know your nomenclature. So if you don't know your nomenclature, A B C D F T We need some J time K spent on N -O -N -O nomenclature. Q Are you literally just writing the alphabet? W X Y and Z. <laughs> <laughs> So I'm sure you get that. I don't know my, uh, what are they called? Polytops? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, bro. Can't move. So, there you look at this. First thing you're probably going to have to end up doing is write Ooh. the. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Question. I'm not trying to interrupt. What's the equation for perphosphate? Using uh, what is it? <laughs> it's it's not not the formulas. The, their chemical formulas. That to work. Okay. So the steps whenever you're doing this, the first one you're gonna look at. Can you give me a hand? <laughs> 
Can we at least tell them the equation for the class? Thank you for that, man. Uh, do I use prefixes on that? <laughs> I can't tell you this, Andrew. But lend me a hand. That's pretty good. Cool. Oh, we don't need that back. Silence, witch. Okay, I'm just going to say, when I finish this, I'm really going to need you to, like, write it right, right now, because I'm feeling really good right now. Like, I feel good. tell him what to do. I feel good. And I'm, 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 I'm not trying to, like, you know, but I feel good. We'll balance the atoms. Hey, John, on number eight. Listen, I can't tell you. <laughs> hey, y'all, on number eight. That occurred. Ooh. We want on each side. Yeah, I'm not real short, but we're gonna stick with it. Number two, be your personal favorite. Balance. <laughs> Polyatomic. Yeah. Can we curve one side? It makes sense. Polyatomic ions. Together. Oh. So hypothetically, if you tried to trick me and you succeeded. Don't. You tried. Hypothetically, you tried. if I had hyponitrite on this paper, which I obviously don't, what would it be? I mean, she tricked me. Dang. You tried. You tried. You tried real hard. He let another way. I said, I'm going to talk about this together. You did not succeed. Don't separate Which one the elders. He's trying to trick me. He's trying to trick me. Let's say, for example, what's this real life news for? He got me. I was like, no, you didn't get me. He got me. I'm trying to remember. I can't remember what ones I gave y'all. I want to say, you didn't give me hyponitrite, and I'm just curious what hyponitrite would be. Mr. Hall, you should give us points for writing our name on our test. Yeah. How many times can I write my name for extra points? In the day. He does. Because I thought that was a good thing. I want to say three. I want to say three on a quiz. I want to say I lumped that in. How I'm bad did it? Because it started with a C. I don't give you a zero. We'll take the quiz. <laughs> How much you give us if we take the quiz? You know, I really, Mr. Hall, I'm thinking like you right end? now, and I think you gave us this specific one so that we wouldn't get this. You're not going to get me. I'm not like everybody else. Okay, John, we get it. <laughs> no, nah, you probably, you probably did. Like, I probably like, thinking into it too much. Can you check my number two? He wouldn't do well, you one with the same number. charge. Yeah, you're right. That he would do one when right. it's that abstract of an element. He would do one that's different, just to trick us. Can you check my number two? Can you do that on the What? No. <laughs> Third and last. That was on the thing. Balance. I'm just going to write it all of them. This is in the order. Balance, hydrogen, and oxygen last. Now what you're going to see is when you go through and you're balancing things out and you use these rules, what you're going to find out is here at step three, it doesn't always work out to perfectly balance out. Sometimes you're going to balance hydrogen or oxygen and you'll have to go back and balance some more. It just happens that way. There's nothing we can do about it. I already did that one. I did. I'll do it again. Yeah, you put one of them on there twice. Hey, that's free pointer X. They're different. X. No, it's like L. It's not that free to X. It probably is. No, it is. Hunger, Hunger, Hunger. And if you're wrong, you're going to hate yourself. So, let's get into looking at the types of chemical reactions. These are. Yeah. Five basic types. Hey, you got a big eraser. 
Five, five basic types of chemical reaction. I'm going to introduce you into the five that we will discuss. Are they scary? See, it could be. Are they scary if I don't know that? Yeah. Yes. What things? Everything. Well, I was looking at Okay, Mr. Hall. Scary. I know you're teaching right now, but I really need this bridge. Or just for you to look at it like you did there, too. And just tell me. Because I feel really good about it. Like, I mean, maybe I like was doing something wrong, but I feel really good about it. You got 27. What? 27 what? Percent? Yes. Yeah. Tacos. Oh, yeah. Ah, you're fine. Oh. That would be like... Yeah, 27. Be like, yeah, 27. 27 out of 34, right. That one. You got 27. I got 27. I got 27. I know, you just... So the first type of chemical reaction we're talking about is a synthesis reaction. And I'm going to be a little more open and transparent and honest than I probably should be. I went all the way through high school and halfway through my undergrad at Marshall University talking about synthesis reactions. Really, I didn't know what they were, so I had to look it up one day. And then I was like, oh, that makes a lot of sense. Wow. You'll find out today, synthesis reaction is just making stuff. Pretty much all it is, mix stuff together and make so something. So if I build a house, <laughs> is that a synthesis reaction? No, that's called... You said it's making house. stuff. So mixing stuff. That makes you a liar now. <laughs> you said it was making stuff. So are you telling the truth? Or are you a liar? Which one, Dwayne? The liar. What is up with you in my middle night? It's funnier to say. <laughs> hey guys, I know the word synthesis, but it's only in the word I can't say. I mean, bro. Synthesis. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm done. I'm turning it in. I just want to like check it. <laughs> So, uh, since this is literally just taking some molecules, compounds, and stuff together and having them react to four new things. The second one is decomposition. Turn it around. Reaction. Decomposition reaction. Oh, like, oh, wait. Oh, yes. Did you? Number three, I'm going to put a little star by it. Number three will be your favorite. But this is the one. Number three is very simplistic when we get to it. You know how y'all beg me to give you pieces of information? Like a, a sheet that I gave you in class. And you're like, can I please have this on the quiz? You actually will get something on the quiz. Oh, man. You will. You have to have this for the number for the number three type of reactions we deal with. Single. Replacement. Number four. That's the four or five. Is double. <laughs> Replacement. Mr. Trout wants to stress something. Now when we get to number three and number four and we start really talking about these types of reactions, we deal with single replacement and double replacement. I have found one thing to be true when dealing with high school students in chemistry. If I can relate it to food or to relationships, it works out very well. It sticks out in your mind. The third and the fourth, single replacement and double replacement, I'm going to relate to relationships. Now. We all need to be mature whenever I do this, and we don't need to mention any names or talk about anything. For whatever freaky, weird reason, every time I make it to this, for some reason, something relationship-wise happens at this school, and it's like I start talking about it, a, and I draw a conclusion like the, a single replacement or double replacement reaction is like this, 
that we see in high school relationships, and everybody starts and they start talking about people. And then it's like, I had no idea this went on. Please shut up. Stop talking. About I think it. stuff like this is just constantly happening. So no matter when you mention it, it's just gone. It's probably true. Yeah. I'm just a guy that don't know. Just tell him what he got. On. They all look like, like, or at least I don't see it. John, I can assure you this. Did I miss one? Yeah, absolutely missed one. Oh. Booey! Oh, well, which one is it? <laughs> but didn't he miss the other 29? Is it the 129? <laughs> I think I did good, though. So, oh. no. number five is Mr. Hall's personal favorite. And this will also be some other people's personal favorite. I it's wish Drake was here. Drake would love this. It's boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. boom, boom. Come on. Explosions. Fire. Pains ignited. Yes. I will do some demonstrations with these. No. You will not. Because of how dangerous it is. Aww. And nobody is to tell Miss Hall that Mr. Hall is blowing things up in his room. Now hold on, Miss Hall. Everything's blowing up on the boat. Uh, hey, you okay. see that stuff's happening in Ukraine? Is it <laughs> that a combustion reaction? That was that combustion. Whoa. Mr. Hall. Ukraine, Russia. Is. Combustion reaction. I know what it is. Too soon. Yeah. <laughs> I'm yeah. Just to ask a question. Let's get started. Okay. We weren't started already. In our first of the five types. Number one. I'll also add this to you because you guys are going to feel overwhelmed at first. I will be honest with you. Number one and number two have a a lot of special cases. We get to number one. We start going through number one and number two. You feel like, oh my dear God, how am I ever going to remember all of this? Number one and number two are pretty bad. Three, four, and five is not as bad. So, we hit the worst ones first. Which ones? So are we're going to do the belly of the beast, then it gets simple. Which ones are the most common? Is there one that's like the most common? What, really? Yeah. How many of us are going to be in a vehicle if it's bromic acid, and leave this school today? Guess what drives it? But it's just bromic. If it's hydrobromic, it's just bromic reaction. Bull crap, I got a test. <laughs> you did. H B I R. Oh, good. Yeah, you have a G. Hypothetically. <laughs> oh, that's, that's one that's easy enough. You're a liar. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a liar. He told me synthesis reaction wasn't making a house. Synthesis <laughs> reaction. <laughs> you freaking liar. <laughs> Uh-huh. It's combining. Uh-huh. Brick. Mortar. Two or more. At brick and mortar. Concrete, say. powder, and water. Substances. I'm not the Will Smith Oxygen either. and <laughs> gasoline and combustion. <laughs> finish it, John. Don't finish it, John. To form How a new compound. Mouth. Mouth. I'm going to. <laughs> <laughs> it was a G.I. Jane joke. It was a G.I. Jane joke. He was laughing at it and he looked at his wife and she was like, and he's like, I know, but I'm just elaborating on it because I don't really care. Uh, Alright, so, am I going to real with you? Two or more substances to form a new compound. This is like the general overview of the reactor. So you have A plus X goes to X without an E. Without an E. Or without an E. So I guess you're right. But so you're saying I can build an axe with this house. But I cannot build a house. If you want to look at it, I guess technically you can. You okay. took some 2x4s, 
<laughs> Stuff them together with some insulation and some sheetrock, you got a wall. Thank you. I watch Nile red, so I know what this is. I watch Nile blue. Is that so difficult? Nile green. So we're going to start going through and looking at specific rules and specific types of these reactions. This is where it gets difficult. You have to be able to keep up and stay with the information. And you have got to be able to know the special cases and circumstances. That's why number one and number two is so hard. Wait, 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 wait. At least let me get a picture. I was too busy taking quiz. You should have been here for the quiz. I don't know what to tell you. Don't look at it. Don't look at it. Did you pop off? No. You popped off. I guarantee it. He's looking at it. Why not? Better than, better than what some people know. I had one person that, like, I look and I was like, I don't remember putting two blanks in here to write an answer key. Oh, that's just the back of their test. Oh. What? I don't know. Wait, what? You got your picture yet? Yeah, I got all. No, no, hold on, give me a second. You gotta get the angle. You wanna get a picture show? Yeah. See? Too bad! <laughs> I should start just taking it. I want an alien to come here and speed me up. Sing me up, Scotty. It's time. Alright, so the first type we're going to look at of synthesis reactions. Now, all these are synthesis reactions we are looking at. Why are we synthesizing? What time is it? Are they synthesis? It's time for work. It's time for work. So synthesis reactions uh, have elements and oxygen. So whenever we're looking at synthesis reactions of, of elements and oxygen, RxN stands for the abbreviation of reaction. Well, yeah, I don't know what it looks like. Dang. My earring calls gone. <laughs> My earring calls. So, whenever these elements combine with oxygen, to form oxides. I don't think this is real. I think we're just in a simulation and all this is just but, 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 gibberish and we're just like only understanding it because it's just like hey, our I can't see the other one. He's on some synthesized stuff that you know. <laughs> what kind of ulterior <laughs> elements do you have? Like Teaching such slander. So most metals and oxygen but most metals and oxygen goes to metal oxide. There is the word equation. You'll be dealing with the formula equations. So whenever you're looking at this, where do you think the metal and the metal oxide comes from? The metals. The metals. Whoa. Who are the thunder? So I'm going to show you one of my favorite of these. And you all are kind of reminding me of first period. You're kind of the today, so we'll even end with a little demonstration. How's that sound? I mean, what kind of, do we get to see fire? Combustion. Combustion. Oh, okay, we're fire. on synthesis, gentlemen. We're staying with synthesis right now. <laughs> Can we synthesize some fire? <laughs> we start from the other side. From the other side. So, in a synthesis reaction, let's say, for example, we start with mag. I tell you, we have magnesium. And oxygen oxide. I got an arrow. Now here's kind of what questions in this section is going to kind of look like to you. I can give you the reactants of a magnesium and an oxygen, and I'll tell you that this is a synthesis reaction. Whenever we look at these synthesis reactions, oh, thank you, Michelle. God bless you. You look at these synthesis reactions, I have not gave you the product. Is she gone? 
So you have to know the stipulations and the rules to know what your products are. So in this case, why is McGraw Hill still sending me stuff? Because they want your company. <laughs> they this, want me to go with their company. Yeah. It says this end up. Well, they want you to. <laughs> that that end is not up. <laughs> so the magnesium and the oxygen <laughs> combine together to make what? Metal, metal oxide. oxide. Metal. Magnesium. What's the metal? Metal. Magnesium. Magnesium. Magnesium, magnesium oxide. Manganese. Manganese. Well, Manganese. Bad. Now, making magnesium oxide, let's go from the word equation into the chemical formula equation, which is what I'll expect you to do for me. What's the chemical symbol of magnesium? Mg. Mg. And it combines with what? O. Oxygen. O2. W on here. Why is it O2? Because of the oh, diatomic. Oh, you hush your... Yeah. I got iodine, right? I put two on iodine. I didn't on calcium, because calcium is... Calcium is not a diatomic. I know you try to trick us with that, because you put calcium like... Okay. Does it have two? Does it really have two? Put okay, I'm put C -A I just put C. C -A. Oh, that's carbon. Wait, really? That's what I said. I said, dude. So so oh, you, you go find a toe and suck on it. <laughs> <laughs> Man, that is so that means you have a toxic pump off. Don't worry, if it makes you feel any better, I did the same thing. Yeah, so. I That's pump off. I mean, I'm like, why are you all that? Was that I2? Was that I2? That I get that I2. Two. So Let's go! Magnesium and oxygen goes to magnesium hey, oxide. So here comes support. the fun yeah, part. This is where the nomenclature comes into play, ladies and gentlemen. That's a great example of this is magnesium oxide. You have to get the chemical formula right. You gotta look at magnesium. Magnesium is MG with a two plus charge. Oxide comes from oxygen, which is a two negative. The twos cross over. So I get MG two O two. But then I can factor a two out. MGO. Which I just leaves me with MGO. Machine gun oscillation. What, what is on those screws on this? That's me taking the charges and crossing all the scribbles. We did this. No, we didn't. Alright. Yes, we have. Now we got bounce. Because this is not bounce. And you need to double check, make sure it always is balanced. So I've got magnesium on the left, oxygen on the left. I missed the bills when OJ Simpson was playing. Magnesium on the right, oxygen on the right. You weren't even alive then. Yeah, OJ was still my favorite player. He magnesium! He was killer on the field. How many magnesium we got on the reactant side? Why? Orange juice. Come Simpson. on, that was funny. <laughs> How many oxygens we got on the reactant side? Uh, one, two. Wait, reactant? Two. two. Yes. I mean magnesium on the product side. Mm -hmm. I mean oxygen on the product side. No. One. I only have one. Oh wait. One. Oh. Oh. We got balance oh. now. So we got balance. How are we gonna balance it? Mr. Hall. Start. Oh. Start. 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 Left side of arrow reactants, right side of, rea of arrow is product. How many oxygens you got on the reactants? Okay. Magnesiums are bound. There's no polyatomics, so I don't have to balance them. So now let's go to hydrogen. There is none. Let's go to oxygen. You look at oxygen. Oxygen's are not bound. It's got two on the reactant side and one on the product side. How can I change that? Put a, okay, put a two, right? No, 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 no. Why? Put it in the front. Because you can't change. That changes chemical formula and we can't do that. Thank you. You can't do the little, the little number. Where's the two got to go? In front of the MG. Only in front. In this Here's the key. You put a number, look for every element behind it. I have magnesium, so magnesium's changed. I have oxygen, so oxygen's changed. How many magnesium I got on the product side? Two. Two, because it's two times one. How many oxygen? Two. Two, it's two Seven times four. one. There's two, two. Now magnesium's balanced. It sucks. 
Put it to in front of the magnesium, it's balancing on the reactant side. Now that changes the number of the magnesium, it leaves me with two. Everything has two. Law of conservation of mass is covered. Woo! So now we can highlight it. That right there is the proper synthesis reaction formula for producing magnesium oxide. Do I have any questions? If you call that hard, I can't wait till we get some combustion. Boom! You know, a hard thing with combustion oh, is? Okay. Uh, okay. uh, we had started with, hold on, so that I can keep track of myself. Listen, like half of our class is gone, dude. Literally, we're Sucks to suck. That's, that's nowhere near, there's like five how, people in here. How many of these elements with? Five people is a lot. Like, we done one for oxygen, we done one for sulfur. I don't even see How many more of these? Uh, there's a couple. You pretty much get a, get a full form. All right, we get out here at 1040. I did that so I can keep track of it in my mind so uh, I don't lose. I get caught up. So anyway, I want to move on with synthesis reactions. So pretty much oxygen, sulfur, they, they're going to react the same. Uh, this one. I forgot my chocolate in your fridge. It's still on. Don't dump my chicken. Huh? I got my lunch in there. Chicken. So uh, we're going to pick up, we're going to talk about synthesis reactions, but these are going to be. Gosh. What type of chicken? Real chicken. Oh, I didn't finish that episode. So, uh, re synthesis reaction. No, no remorse, no. Metals and halogens. I remind me again, it escapes Mr. Hall's memory for the moment. Which column on the periodic table is the halogen? 14. The 17th. Thank you, Kendra. Uh, that was close enough. Very old. Old. What's the 14th? The 14th column. The 14th column. <coughs> that was special. So here's the key with the halogens. So whenever you look at the halogens, this ought to help you. Halogens are diatomics that form a negative one charge. Okay, you should already be exposed to this, already have an idea of this. And this is where it kind of gets a little simplistic for you if you can follow along with the trick Mr. Hall told you at week three of this class he was going to keep in his back pocket. This is what gets tricky here are the diatomics. What do you mean? They're diatomics. That's what makes this a little complex. And that's pretty much it because if I looked at you and I said, a synthesis reaction to form sodium chloride. Sodium chloride, reactant or product? Product. It's a synthesis reaction, so we're going to end up with one thing, but it's just one thing, so it's the product. So we know we're going to have something plus something will yield to sodium chloride. You'll see a little pattern forming with these. Sodium chloride. What do you think comes together to make sodium chloride? Sodium chloride. Wow! Wow! <laughs> So sodium and chlorine. Everybody notice the subtle difference. I D E I N E. Big difference. So we look at this sodium. What's the chemical symbol for sodium? In A, North America. What's chlorine? What's chlorine? Is that? CL2. Let Mr. Hall take a moment. 
have a brief interruption. Oh, it gives you back to stress to you. You must remember the diatoms. The diatoms exist in nature bonded to themselves. Chlorine is a diatomic, so it is Cl2. It yields to sodium chloride. So we have to figure out what's the proper chemical formula for sodium chloride. So we have sodium. What's the charge on sodium? Uh, plus one. one. Plus one. one. I just can't find it, Chloe. It's not lots of Chloride? Negative one. Negative one. Negative one. Negative one. What do we do with the charges? They cancel. Cross them, or you can look at it and say they cancel. That's fine. So we get NaCl. So NaCl. Now, only thing we got left to do, balance, check, make sure it's balanced, and if not, balance it. So on the reactant side, how many sodiums we got? How many chlorines we got? Two. On the product side, how many sodiums? One. How many chlorines? One. Is it balanced? No. How are we going to fix it? Put, put a two, two in front of the NA again. We'll put two in front of you now. Both yeah. products. I love how y'all are stressing it. Put two in front. Okay, that's great. And you're right. We're going to have to go on both. We'll start simple first. We'll start easy. So whenever we look here, first thing we're going to do, I need to balance the chlorine. So on this side, I need to stick a two here to balance out the chlorine. But I also change the sodium. There's two sodiums and there's two chlorines. Which then means, just like y'all were saying, we got to go back over to the reactant side and put a two in front of the sodium so that now they're balanced. Yep. Now, is that the balanced chemical formula? Yes. 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 Okay. I got that before you do it. Congratulations. What about acetatine? What's up with that? You said the whole halogen thing is a 17th column. Is that just like, except for acetate? Acetate? Yeah. At Okay. Sure. We're, we're never. Well, I can't I mean, say I just, never, but we're probably not. It's, just, it's good information. Yeah. Except for astatine, guys. You know, that, that very common element you've all heard about. Okay, you ain't got me wondering. I want to look it up. Yeah, it's a diatomic? Yeah. If it's not, then it's going to be the A. If it is, it's going to be the A diatomic. You're not And then, then you'll be able to use your little seven trick. <laughs> well, the seven of them over here in the seven anhydrine. It is the only halogen that is not a diatomic molecule, right. so it still gets seven. Good question, though, John. So, I pulled good questions. What's another one? Um, What's do you consider Pluto to be a planet? What is I the. Do. Uh, why, uh, why did the chicken cross the road? <laughs> because my dog was chasing it. I, I don't know. The chicken doesn't have common ability to decide what it's actually going to do. It just kind of does that. It's just it's a different chicken. Yeah, they like, can live without a head. They runs back and forth along my fence line while my dog chases it back and forth on the other side of the fence line. Basically. And I just stand there wondering if you would come this way no longer would be able to chase you. There's a fence there. It just runs back and forth. I'm like, okay. All right, anyway, so uh, let's give you one to try. Do it, chicken. There's a sense of this reaction with magnesium and fluorine. Give me the proper chemical equation. Where's magnesium? Is this one work backwards? Tell me. Yes.
I'm a professional. What can I say? I mean, we also do a little square around. Also, best luck to any of you that are going to be at the ACT tomorrow. I hope you all do bad. Mwah. It really doesn't matter. Bad. I do. Your failure is my success. No, it's not. The worse you do, the more scholarships I get. That's also not true. Don't use scholarships when you pay debts. College really pays off the scholarship. Synthesis reaction, which means am I starting with reactants or products? Reactants. Reactant. So in this case, we have magnesium. What's the chemical symbol for magnesium? Mg. Mg plus fluorine, which is F. Two. Which yields magnesium and fluorine are going to combine together to make magnesium fluoride. Eggs. What? Why are you back there, John? I need service to message and say that my match is canceled. Hey, hey, hey. So, magnesium fluoride. So, MG, what's the charge? John, dance. Positive 2, fluoride. What's the charge? Negative 1. And 1, we cross them? We won't need the name with it, though, whenever we do this. Nope, not to do it for practice. So that it's there like for I, you totally all. I know there's people the in this room that no, need to practice nomenclature. So let Mr. Hall get on his soapbox for another moment. If you cannot do nomenclature, you can't do chemical reactions. Well, you man. should be coming and seeing me so we could work. Anyway. Try to run circles around chemical reactions. MG 1 F 2. Check for the balance. So, magnesium, fluorine. How many magnesiums do we have on the product side, on the reactant side? How many fluorines on the reactant side? On the product side, how many magnesium? One. How many fluorine? Two. Do I need a balance? No. Nope. Already is. He tries to trick us. How'd you try to trick us? He tries to trick us. Tries to trick us. <laughs> All right. Now to take a break from Mr. Hall's chemistry class. Have you ever been in need of a divorce lawyer? <laughs> we aren't getting ads on YouTube. I know you're not. So I figured I'd just don't have enough subscribers to use yet. In class. That doesn't. That's not how that works. You're not making revenue. Yeah. I wonder if it's seen me. Like I would make revenue. <laughs> you need to you need to push your videos out to I hope it's seen wider me. audience. I can't wait to watch that later. Just kidding. I never watch any of the videos. <laughs> I put them on. I put them on as white noise when I'm trying to sleep. <laughs> so, man, I can't sleep. Turns on chemistry videos. Ah. I think you'd do better if you sleep like Hey, am I? All right, so here comes special cases. This is when things start to, it, it steps up a notch. Everything we've done so far is kind of simple, but here are some special cases. 
So synthesis, reactions, it's not the attitude, no negativity, with oxides. Not with oxygen, with oxides. These are different. So there's two special cases we're going to look at. First special case. Magnesium oxide. Is that what you were going to put down? We'll put magnesium oxide. No, no, there's just something random. Right. So oxide of active metals. Hydrogen oxide. Mm -hmm. Oxide the converter. No. No, no, no. I'm oxide. I haven't got to the word yet. Mr. Holmes, what would happen if I mixed kerosene, potassium, and sulfur together? Don't do that. So oxides of active metals. I don't know what would happen. The active metals. <laughs> oh, the first Can I go on to the office? Hydroxides are actually the opposite of an acid. Hydroxides are bases. Give me an example. Like in baseball. First, second, third. And Not high. that type of base. Oh. 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 So a good example of this is let's say that I wanted to, uh, I was in some desperate need of a strong base. So in order to do this, I have my chemistry knowledge and I know that if I take an active metal oxide and put it in water, then it's going to produce for me a metal hydroxide. So let's say Mr. Hall gives you a synthesis reaction. One plus one equals two. In that synthesis reaction, I give you calcium oxide. and water. So in this case, I know I'm starting with calcium oxide, so I'm going to start with the word equation. And water, and it's a synthesis reaction, so these two are going to react together to produce a metal hydroxide. Well, just like before, where's the metal coming from? First or second. Off of the metal oxide. So what do you think our metal is? Iron. Calcium. 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 Hydroxide. So this is one of those, you have to know this set of circumstances. Metal, active metal oxides and water will produce metal hydroxides. You have to know this. So that whenever I set this up for you, 
you can get to the calcium hydroxide because there's no way you're just going to look at that and go, oh, is that still going to be hydroxide? You have to get this one embedded in your head. So in this case, let's get the chemical formula down, calcium oxide. So in this case, we've got to use the nomenclature of your skills on both sides. So I have calcium, which has a 2 plus charge because it's in the second column, which makes it a active metal and oxygen. Ow. The two negative charge. So you can cross those over, you can look at it and say that they just cancel out, that's fine as well. To where it's a one to one ratio, so I end up with CaO plus water. What's the chemical formula for water? H2O. Very good. H2O yields calcium hydroxide. Now, this is where it gets fun. It's calcium, everybody remembers the Ca2 plus. Problem's going to be if you remember your polyatomic ion. Hydroxide is a polyatomic ion. So what's HO negative? So at least you can. That's fine. That's fine. Either way. What? It depends if you're in chemistry or biology. I don't know why. Why does that matter? They'll flip things around like the carbonic acid, carbonic acids and stuff that we will throw out both oxygens, but they have to do it weirdly. That's stupid. Anyway, so we are now going to take these charges and we're going to cross them. And this is where the nomenclature skills are super important. Because I have one calcium. How many hydroxides? Two. Two of them. So I just oh, put an O, A, no, no parentheses. No parentheses. I'm so proud. You didn't even wait. You just automatically knew where I was going. You're starting to think like me. You're becoming me, John. I'm tired of this. Is this correct? No. Why? You have two hydrogens and you need two uh, hydroxides. I need two hydroxides, not two hydrogens. I have to put that in parentheses. That's all fucky wacky, you know what I'm saying? Now it's right. Now. Does it matter if that's what outside? Has to be outside the parentheses. If it's on the inside, then you're saying two hydrogens. Has to be on the outside of the parentheses in order to say in two hydroxides. Well, how did it make a hydroxide? Well, that's just how the reaction works and how it breaks down. I started with that. Yeah. So, we look at this, we got to balance it out, we got to look at calcium. Now, I know if you go back to your rules, rule two, whenever you're balancing, said balance polyatomic ions together. Here's the thing. The polyatomic ion isn't showing up on both sides. Don't try and balance them together. Separate it out. So calcium. Wait, okay, you okay? Uh -oh. Well, they can't see. There's no way they're going to see that. Uh, I can't see. Yeah, I can't see that. So calcium. Oxygen. I do that. Cow. <laughs> Calcium, oxygen, hydrogen. So whenever you look over at the reactant side, how many calciums? One. One. Here's the tricky part. You look on the reactant side, how many oxygens? Two. There's two. How did I get two? There's an oxygen here, that's one. There's an oxygen there, there's one. That's why you can't keep the polyatomic ion together in this case. So there's two oxygens. How many hydrogens? One. Two. 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 Now go to the product side. Go to the product side, how many calciums? One. How many oxygens? Two. two. Why do we get two? Because we put two down there for the hydroxides. Yeah. Two down there for the hydroxides, and that means multiply on the inside. So there's a one understood to be here, two times one. Now you look and say, but Mr. Hall, what if there's a number in the front? Multiply it again. It's so a whole two. lot of distributive properties. It's not exact. How many hydrogens? Two. 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 Is this balanced? Yes. yes. Somebody heard it. Somebody understands. I agree. Perfectly balanced. All things should be. This is what you're looking at, and you have to notice stuff. Metal oxide and water. 
This is where things get tricky, but I'm looking at you and I'm going to tell you, we're laying the foundation for those of you that are going to go to college and go into organic chemistry. Your organic one class and your organic two class. Organic one will finish off on reactions. Organic two does spectrometry and then it's going to take off with chemical reactions. And it's very, very complex. You have to notice what you have, where you're trying to get, how to get there. This right here is laying foundation. You have to notice what you have. So you remember how we did nomenclature and it was like the toolbox was there and you had to use the right tool? That still applies here. What type of tool am I It's just now you have to upgrade your toolbox. What, what kind of tool am I using right now? The guns. That, that, that's, kind of, that's not a weapon. That's, that's not a tool, I mean. That's a weapon. A particular shape. A rope in particular shape. Okay, so I'm going to give you one try. A razor blade. A razor blade. A toaster. A toaster. A toaster. A toaster. A toaster. A toaster. Forget the hair dryer. Right. Right. Oh. That outlet right next to my bathtub. Okay, so let's say there is a synthesis. <laughs> <laughs> you know what the counselor's office is, right? I keep a fork in the rack. Right. Synthesis! <laughs> I look at it all easily. Make a chemical reaction on the right. Combustion. <laughs> What happens? Water and energy. Cesium oxide and water. Give that a shot. What happens if I mix a 420 breaker and water? Cesium, 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 cesium. Trying to get the answers. This one went to the next rule. <coughs> you guys will love it. This. Well, that was like a coat that had been sitting outside for too long and lost its color. Right now, I cook, I make food that she's always liked forever, and she got. 
Jack's status. Made some grilled chicken last night. Excellent. She put it in her mouth. It was beautiful. I'm like, I would assume that it was a good thing. And then they look at it just happened. It's gone. I mean, all you chicken. Yes. Sorry. It's still good for the fridge. I don't know that. I'm going to grab the chicken. That's why I have chicken today. Okay, so let's look at this one. Synthesis uh, with cesium oxide. Cesium oxide. And water. So cesium oxide and water is that reactants or products? Reactants. So we have cesium oxide and water. It's going to make something. What's it going to make? Cesium hydroxide. Cesium hydroxide. How'd you know that? Uh, it's a metal, 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 metal oxide. Or oxides of metals, right? And water, you get a metal hydroxide. The key is it has to be active metal. Yeah. Active. First or second column. Oh, sorry. So, now we get to do the chemical formula. So, cesium is CS, charged, plus one, so it comes from the first column. It's an alkali metal. Oxygen comes from 16th column, it's two negative, cross them over. It's CS, 2, O. With that, we got water. Water is just H2O, which is going to yield cesium hydroxide. So we got to look at cesium, which is a plus one charge, and hydroxide, oh, it's negative charge. One to one, or you can cross them over, and it's just going to be one to one to get CS. So when you're getting the formula, you eight. Ooh. Correct. I can. I look at this and I say active metal oxide and water to sense this reaction, which tells me it's going to make that metal hydroxide. So I combine that together so I can work through it. So having two CCs on this side doesn't affect the product? I would get it no, wait, the question. We have to balance it, but it doesn't affect it like that. It, this is the thing, is you start with something over here. Reactions take place. New molecules that form don't have to have the same number exactly in that molecule. Now, there has to be the same number of molecules on that side, which is why when we go to balance this, is where it comes in and matters, because we have cesium, oxygen, and hydrogen. So on the reactant side, how many cesiums we got? Two, which is where the issue is coming in. How many oxygens? There's two. A lot of people dropped off there because you're scared. One here, one there. You have to see them both. How many hydrogen? Two. two. There's two. Two, two, two. Then we go over here on the product side. How many cesium? One. How many oxygen? One. How many hydrogen? One. Now, you can't change the chemical formula. That's the thing that was made. That molecule is there. But there has to be the same number of those atoms over there, so how do we fix it? Put a two in front of it. Put a big two in front of it, change the cesium, change the oxygen, change the hydrogen. Two, 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 two. two. So now it's even out. Okay. That's a really good question, Kim. Do you not do you not put the uh with the Don't need to, I only need one of them. It's not it is polytonic. Well, I just don't need multiple of them. You only use parentheses when you need multiple. Mm -hmm. Good with those? It's not like it's not like terribly, terribly good. Might get worse. Just like with you. Might get worse. Does it get worse? Hold on. What time's class again? Yeah, 40. What time is it? Yeah, seven minutes. Accomplish some shooting.
give us a pet talk. Can we watch Rocky IV? <laughs> when he fights in Russia? No. <laughs> Yes. Okay. I just need to hear the thing where he's like, he's only a man. Okay, so the second type we're dealing with. Okay. When you're looking at synthesis reactions with oxides, I'm going to openly tell you this will be your most favorite. Oxides. Of non metals. Hey! Y'all better pay attention, he's about to kill us. React! He's trying to kill you. With chemistry. With water! To produce. What was that word again? Everybody really enjoyed when we did that nomenclature thing. Oh. Oxyacids. So whenever you have a non-metal oxide, You have a non-metal oxide, it's going to react with water to produce an oxyacid. So in this case, let's say I start you off with some magical non-metal oxide. So something like, I don't know, sulfur dioxide and water. Here's where the fun comes in. Oh. You gotta get the chemical formulas down because then you're not gonna lose your number of oxygens per se. So before we can find out what the word is, we've got to figure out what these two are gonna be combined. So sulfur dioxide, I got prefixes telling me everything I need to know. So it makes it simple, spells that out. There's not a prefix with sulfur, so that means there's one of them. So S, dioxide. Oxide comes from oxygen. Di means two. So there's sulfur dioxide. And we're going to add with that water, which is H2O. Now in this case, this is kind of the way and the trick of looking at it. Take the oxygen, add it here. Find and make that oxyanion. So we're going to add that oxygen in. Sulfur with how many oxygens? Three. Three. Excuse me, Rush. Uh, to the students that have seminar, we are going to try today not to have seminar. You can have a, uh, that time for lunch and dinner. And in that deal, I expect no aggravation. Appreciate it. You all have a great week. <laughs> Let me have a bottle up in here. Yes. Wait, Mr. Hall. What's up? There you go. Figure out next year. Now, here's the thing. Sulfur and oxygen, your oxyanion sulfates, sulfites, all those. Was a two negative charge, right? You have to remember that. Polyatomic ions do not leave. They're still there. Here's the thing that becomes simple for you. Wait, hold on, back up. Where did you get the two negative Sulfate, sulfite, or sulfate, hypo sulfite. Okay, What's the charges on those polyatomic ions? Two negative. You're supposed to remember the root ion, which is sulfate, which is so far two negative. So whenever you get that, here's the easy part. Do you have to name it? And this question you don't, will Mr. Hall ask you to name it? Probably somewhere along the way. How many? Well, we're going to make an oxy acid, so what's part of an acid? Eight. Hydrogen. Hydrogen, so we'll put an H there. How many hydrogens do need? Two. 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 What do you do after you put the two hydrogens in? Perfect. Perfect. You, for yeah. some reason, have the tension hall. The tension hall is still on for today, so you need to be there. Oh, Thank you. Oh, Goes away. Let's, Let's look at it. Sulfur, oxygen, hydrogen. 
Sulfur. On the reactant side, how many sulfur? Sulfur. How many oxygen? Three. Three. How many hydrogens? Two. Go to the product side. How many sulfur? One. How many oxygen? Three. How many hydrogen? There's a lot of numbers. Two. So it's one, three, two. We're balanced. Nothing else is needed. So why does the charge cancel out? Because those hydrogens, whenever you look at acids, they're proton donators, or they, they call it the process protonation. What happens is those acids pull on those electrons and send out hydrogen, which has a one proton, but no electrons, so it's like a proton, like a P plus. So that balances the charge out. That's why I told you whenever we do acids, the charge up there tells you how many hydrogens to put. Does it always do? I can yes. tell you this one, that's the first chemistry lesson.